In the ruins of an ancient society, Benjamin, an 11-year-old boy, was trying to survive the war-torn country. He was a refugee, and he had lost his parents in the conflict. He was alone, and he had to fend for himself. One day, as he was wandering in the wilderness, he stumbled upon a crocodile. He was scared at first, but the crocodile didn't seem to be interested in eating him. Instead, it followed him around, and Benjamin realized that it could be his companion. He named her Isabella. Benjamin and Isabella were walking in the wilderness, trying to find food and water. They were hungry and thirsty, and they had been walking for hours. Benjamin was about to give up when he saw a group of refugees in the distance. They were huddled together, and they looked scared. Benjamin approached them cautiously, and they welcomed him. They offered him and Isabella food and water. The refugees were a diverse group of people from different backgrounds. They had all lost their homes and families in the war, and they were trying to survive together. Benjamin was grateful to have found them, and he decided to stay with them. They were all in this together. As they were eating, they heard a loud explosion in the distance. They knew that it was an enemy attack, and they had to move quickly. They packed their belongings and started walking again. They didn't know where they were going, but they had to keep moving. As they were walking, they came across a river. It was a dangerous river, and they didn't know how to cross it. Isabella suggested that she could carry them across. Benjamin was hesitant, but he trusted Isabella. They climbed onto her back, and she swam across the river with ease. On the other side of the river, they found a cave. It was dark and damp, but it was better than being out in the open. They made a fire and settled in for the night. Benjamin was scared, but he felt safe with Isabella by his side. The next day, they continued their journey. They faced many challenges along the way, but they never gave up. They were determined to survive the war and find a better life. They knew that they had each other, and that was enough. In the end, Benjamin and Isabella found a new home with the refugees. They had banded together to survive the war-torn country, facing danger and adversity at every turn. They had found food, water, and shelter, and they had confronted the threat of enemy attacks and the danger of betrayal from within. They had overcome all obstacles, and they had emerged stronger than ever before. Benjamin knew that he had found a new family, and Isabella was a part of it. Create your own AI-powered stories using MakeMyTale.com.